Hello anime fans, it's Yuki here with Yuki's Anime Review, and today I will be reviewing Hakuoki Season 1, Episode 2, Seeds of Discord. The show starts off with everyone eating. Shimpachi, Harada, and Heisuke are fighting over food, like usual, and causing a complete ruckus, which ends up with Heisuke's meal being destroyed once again. Hijikata and Sano show up and everyone is shocked to see how badly Sano-san is injured. And he excuses himself and decides that he's going to eat alone in his room. And the others agree that it might be for the best. And then Hijikata realizes that Chizuru is sitting in the mealtime room with them and is all like, what is she doing here? And Chizuru gets up to leave, but all the others say, well, I let her in. No, I let her in. No, it was me. And so with a sigh, Hijikata allows Chizuru to stay. The next morning, Chizuru goes down to see what's happening and discovers that Saito and Soji are making a meal in the kitchen area with the little light cooker stove. And Saito's all like, tasting the food, and Saito's like Ch -ch 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 -ch, with all of the vegetables. Seems about right. I like those guys in my kitchen. And of course, she is caught by Hijikata, who is like, what are you doing here? And she's all like, well, I really, 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 really wanted to help, and I thought I could bring Sano his meals, pretty please. She is overly nice. So Hijikata says, sure, why not? You can bring him his meals. It's not like he's going to eat anyway. And Chizuru wonders why Hijikata doesn't care that Sano is hurt. But the others tell her that he's the one that cares the most because he was there when Sano got hurt. Chizuru brings the food to Sano's room and says that she has made it easier for him to eat and he thinks that she is taking pity on him. And of course she goes, oh my god, no, 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 it's not that way, I just wanted to help you. And, surprise, surprise, the next meal time, Sano shows up and sits with everyone. Later in the day, Chizuru is outside doing laundry and whatnot, and Saito picks up on the fact that she wants to ask him a question. And he's like, well, just ask it. And she says that she wants to start looking for her father in hopes that she can go out on patrol with him. And he says that they just don't have enough manpower to allow her to go with them. And so she says, oh no, 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 I can hold my own. I was totally trained at a dojo and I am an awesome, awesome fighter. And so Saito is like, okay, well then come at me. And she goes, no, 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 I couldn't possibly come at you. What if I kill you? And this just makes Soji roar into laughter because he's like, ha you just told Saito to his face that you might kill him. Ha <laughs> ha! That's never gonna happen. So with a serious face, Saito gets ready for action. Before Chizuru can even draw her sword, he has his sword at her throat. And lo and behold, he's like, okay, you're totally ready to go out on your own because, yeah, I almost killed you in less than a second but that qualifies you to go out on the street because no one is better than me. He didn't actually say that, but it was implied. So Chizuru gets to go out and look for her father with, of course, the death threats from Soji, and he's all like, yeah, if you try to run away or do anything bad, we're going to kill you. And she's like, okay, that sounds great, thanks. And off they go. So Chizuru is looking for her father throughout the city of Kyoto, asking people, disrupting them, getting nowhere, until this one guy says, yeah, yeah, I totally saw your father, he went into that building over there a while back. So of course, without telling anyone, because Soji ran off to disrupt a fight between other Shinsengumi members and apparently rogue samurai, something like that. And so she goes in to the store and, of course, gets attacked and has to be saved by Soji, who comes in all like, bam, 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 bam! And, yeah. But, lo and behold, it turns out that she stumbled upon an arms dealer's recruitment center who'd been sending and receiving supplies for the enemy, so that was great. They were able to shut that down. They were also able to figure out 
new information on what was going to happen in Kyoto and they found out that the Choshu were going to invade the day after tomorrow and set the city ablaze and kidnap the emperor. So I guess her stupidity really helped them out. So along comes Shimada and Yamazaki. These are two new characters that we haven't seen and they were watching this arms dealers in and trying to take in information when all of this went down. So of course everyone tries to take responsibility for Chizuru being in the store, being attacked, and having to be saved by Soji. The group decides that they need to split up because the enemies could either be hiding at Shikoku or the Ikadaya Inn and they're not sure which one, but they assume it's going to be the Shikoku Inn. So they, the two split off, but the bigger group goes to Shikoku Inn. And of course, where is it at? The Ikadaya Inn. So Yamazaki returns from doing his ninja stuff and discovers that yes, it is the Ikadaya Inn and him and Chizuru run to go and tell the others where the battle is actually happening. So of course they encounter some trouble and Chizuru has to continue on in search of Hijikata and his group. Meanwhile, Kondo, Heisuke, Shinpachi, and Soji enter the Ikidaya and prepare to confront the enemies while Chizuru hurries to inform the others. This scene where they burst in and were like, yeah, we're the Shinsengumi and we are here to kick your ass was awesome. I cannot wait for the next episode. I think there's going to be a lot of fighting and I think new characters might be introduced. And we're going to see the fighting styles of at least four of the Shinsengumi members, maybe more if the others are able to make it on time. So if you're as interested and curious as I am, please subscribe to my channel as I put out new videos frequently, periodically. I don't really have a day for them to come out. Really, I'm hoping maybe I will eventually. Yes! So this is Yuki's anime review. Right now I'm doing Hakuoki. Yuki out.